and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We are staring at one of the 2.5s, with this being the official drop of the 2.5s here on the channel and on the server. So a lot of work went into the new physics and the Wisefab, as you can see, the angle kit. And we're looking at the first car on the block, which is my 180SX missile car, been redone to about 450 horsepower. And of course, we kept all the damage and everything like that, made some fine tweaks to the suspension and everything of that nature, and of course, it has all the lights it had before, but now we have even more lights. We have full underbodies and everything on this car. Definitely an amazing and fun car to have here on the pack. So this is the first car. We're going to take a look at the next one, and we're going to go through the list so you guys can take a look at all of them. We've got some new seats in the car and everything like that. So let's go to the next car, and uh, we'll talk about that one next car is one of the fan favorites of my original cars and that is my 350z as you can see the full wise fab and everything on the inside it is a 350z that was a basis for my hdc comp car so this car is also equipped obviously with all the lights mint green for my personal favorite color one of them if you guys know the mint green nero chrome wheel that I ran for the longest time. So this is the second car that we have in the pack. You guys have been seeing the cinematics. A big thank you to Drift Snacks and Christmas for making the cinematics possible with the driving and Drift Snacks coming in with the actual cinematic recording. So the 350Z, definitely a fun and very agile car. Definitely a car I'm very comfortable in. You know my love for Z chassis. And that's why this is the number two car in the pack of seven. So we're going to go take a look at the next car, which is a new car for so a new car that I added in, a lot of people have been wanting a Chaser, so we do have a, a JZX, we do have a Chaser here in the mix, so we do have one big body car in this car pack. Big four-door, wise fab like all the other cars, some uh, mismatched drift wheels and things of that nature, something you'd see. No bumper because who needs bumpers? So it's definitely a fun car, I have a lot of fun with this car and getting everything how I liked it. It's definitely an aggressive big body car. It is a lot of fun to drive and it's uh, definitely a car I feel that a lot of people are going to be super comfortable in and have a lot of fun with. So this is the third one. So we're going to go take a look at the fourth car. So the Chaser, definitely a new car for you guys and uh, there's a lot of big bodies coming here in the near future. So this is one of them and we're going to keep going down the list of the new. All my Euro fans out there, we do have a basically pinnacle in the u.s drifting scene it's something that everybody usually has there's always one two or a lot at a drift event and that is the e36 drift car so this e36 is definitely a very fun and very aggressive car all the cars have the full underbodies it's got a very aggressive sounding engine full you know bash bar and no hood something you'd see at an actual drift event so the e36 coming in for all my euro fans you know guys know i work for bmw as well as drift snacks and christmas they both work for bmw as well so bringing in the euros bringing out you know some euro flair in this car pack definitely a very fun aggressive car i got a speckled back nrg seat prism seat so it's definitely a fun car had a lot of fun driving this and making this car and it's definitely a great addition to the car pack and the new two fives so the next car we're going to take a look at is a car you guys have seen before but it's got a little bit of tweaks to it so we're going to go take a look at the next car in this pack so the next car is that of the s13 missile you guys have seen this before there's a version out already of it that people were enjoying and this one has been just tweaked a little bit obviously new suspension new physics underglow and things of that nature and well the other car didn't have headlights so this time this s13 and the new two fives does have a very bright led bar in the front i mean this would be a missile car you'd see in japan or a drift event a basher body with some lights and things of that nature so it's definitely a fun car to add to the pack with all the other missile cars that are in it so we have two more cars which are two new cars to you guys two cars that you may not even know were in the pack definitely had a lot of fun with these cars so we're going to go take a look at the next cars and we will continue down the list so the next car in the pack is that of of course a supra we had to have a supra in the pack you guys love the A90, but I had to bring it back to old school style with the old school Supra. So once again, no bumper, bash bar, definitely a very loud sounding Supra. 
very loud exhaust, but it also has a lot of very nice turbo flutter. Obviously, it's equipped with all the underbodies and everything, interior lights. And it's just a nasty, a nasty car to have in the track. So we have one final car in the car pack, and that is uh, a curveball. You guys saw it in cinematics. Definitely a fun car to have because not many packs have them. There's not many out there. So we're getting the final car of the drift pack. So so you guys saw this in the cinematic intros. This is a Crown Vic V8 Drift Enforcer. Definitely a fun car to add on to this. We were talking about this for a while. I've been wanting to have a cop car. It would be a sweet thing to have. Well, this cop car is here. The Drift Enforcer V8 powered. Definitely a very fun car to drive around. So this one unfortunately does not have underbodies, but it does have spotlights and of course working police lights which if you guys figure out how to turn them on is definitely a fun thing working police lights all around the entire car and uh well this man in this cockpit you know he's got the youtube channel up on the tablet so and on the laptop it's definitely a fun car definitely an, an amazing thing to add on and you know we can, there's gonna be so many photos and definitely fun things we can do with this cop car with the working lights and everything I had fun with it. Christmas and Drift Snacks and I had a lot of fun doing this car and doing the cinematics with it. You know, we can do cop chases and things. It's definitely all fun to have a powerful drift car. And, I mean, it's got a hydro handbrake. It's been converted into a manual. So, this thing's ready to shred. So, that is the list of cars. So, it's definitely a fun thing. I hope you guys are enjoying these 2.5s. The release is now, and the link for the download is in the description box below or in the Discord. The server is going to be switched over to these new cars. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll let you follow the description box below. Let's have some fun with these new 2.5s. A little more power, a lot more angle, and, well, I mean, a cop car was wise fab. Pfft, how could you go wrong? So make sure you follow me on all social media. I'll let you follow the description box below. We're going to get into some drifting clips. So I'll see you guys on the track.